Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to convert a Python file to an executable file using the AutoPy to exe module. So the first thing that you should do is open your command line and then cd into your desktop environment. So I would say cd desktop. Once you are inside your desktop environment, run the command pip install auto-py hyphen to hyphen exe pip install auto py to exe now once you press enter this is just going to take a few seconds to install the auto py to exe module once you are done i'm not going to press enter because i already have the module installed once you are done just open your command line again and type auto py to exe once you type auto py to exe and click enter it's going to open this um browser it's going to open it and this is where we are going to convert our python file to an exe file so here you see the first thing says script location now this is where you browse through your file explorer to look for the file you want to convert to an executable so i'm just going to browse here to go to my desktop to click the file that i want to convert to an executable file So I am going to go to my desktop and I'm going to click whatsapp.py because I want to convert it to an executable and then I'm going to click open. Now you can see the file path has appeared. Now the next thing you would see is this one, the next thing you would see is this one directory, one file window. Now when you are using one directory it means that your um, executable file has other dependencies so if you know your executable file has other dependencies maybe it has other text files or other python files that it needs to make reference to i i'm going to tell you that you should use the one directory um setting but if you but if you only have a if you, if you have a python file that doesn't have any dependencies it functions well on its own then you can go with one file my python file doesn't require dependencies so i'm going with one file then you will come down here and you see um, console window then windows based now what this means is that if your program if your if the python file that i trying to convert to a software exe file if it is console based then leave it as console based but if it isn't just click windows based it's going to hide the console then the next thing that you should do is you can come to icon and if you want to give your executable file an icon you can just browse the location of the icon and put it in there and then additional files if you like i said earlier in this place if you have dependencies um you can just come here and either add the files or if, if or if it's a folder you can add the folder here so that when your exe file um is ready it, your program will be able to make reference to them then if you come down to advanced as it is this is a little bit too advanced so i'm not even going to go there and if you go to settings i'm just going to show you one thing in this output directory this is where you choose um this is where you want your executable file to appear when it has um, finished um compiling everything and when your executable file is ready this is where you want it to appear now i want the output directory to be in my desktop environment so i'm just going to remove this and i'm going to leave it at desktop and then after that i'm going to click convert.py to .exe and as you see it's already converting everything to an executable file so this isn't going to take long because the file is little i'm just going to pause here and come back when it is done so it has finished converting my python file to an exe file since i chose the output directory to be my desktop i'm just going to minimize this and aha look at it here this is the main executable file you can go ahead and move this to the recycle bin you can delete that but this is the main executable file as you can see this is whatsapp.exe from those py to dot exe thank you for watching my video don't forget to like share and subscribe if you like seeing content like this please subscribe and hit that like button Where are you?